The Russian airstrike that crumbled the Donetsk Academic Regional Drama Theater was the deadliest single attack on civilians since the war began. Officials in Mariupol had estimated the death toll around 300 people, but evidence uncovered by the Associated Press reveals closer to 600 people were killed in and around the theater on March 16th. Based on accounts from 23 survivors, rescuers, and people intimately familiar with the theater, along with building floor plans, photos, and videos, reporters were able to reconstruct the events leading up to the attack. On March 5th, days after the shelling began in Mariupol, Actors, designers, and theater administrators were the first to seek shelter inside. Two days later, people were already filling up the hallways and rooms with their limited belongings. The cloakroom became the registration site for new arrivals. And a nearby tea stand helped calm frayed nerves. Survivors say a steady stream of people arrived daily but the numbers swelled after the attack on the maternity hospital on March 9th. As word spread about a safe corridor out of the besieged city, people assumed evacuations would be organized from the centrally located theater. A set designer even used white paint to write children in Cyrillic letters, large enough to alert Russian warplanes. As several hundred waited, a routine settled in. Outside, a water tank and a field kitchen were set up that could serve dozens at a time. On the day of the attack, witnesses say at least 100 people were gathered here when the right side of the building collapsed on them. Inside, most of the women and children stayed on the second floor in the back of the building, in the hallways and the more comfortable dressing rooms. A number of pregnant women from the Mariupol maternity ward who were unharmed in the airstrike ended up here. It is believed that no one in this section survived. Victoria Dubovitska and her two children were also on the second floor, but in the projection room toward the front of the building. Only one wall initially collapsed, giving her family time to escape. According to survivors, not many people slept on the stage because it felt like a giant target. But pets were kept there, and people still liked to congregate in the auditorium. Footage taken days before the strike show the hallways and rooms had filled up, leaving little space to walk through. Witnesses and rescuers say it was as dense the morning of March 16th when the airstrike gutted the stage in the surrounding rooms. Вот и все вот люди, которые сверху были, их вот ну смыло, грубо говоря, снесло вот на вот этих людей, которые стояли внизу на полевой кухне. While the theater took a direct hit, the damage was widespread. The explosion blew out the windows in the front of the building and crumbled walls. Most survivors came from the basement in the front and fled out the main entrance. Russia has variously claimed Ukrainian soldiers used the theater as a base or that they blew it up themselves. But no one ever saw Ukrainian soldiers operating inside. Those who witnessed the attack say Russia had only one goal. It was a that they не з армією, вони воюють з кожним українцем, з кожним маріупольцем. Вони прийшли не захоплювати місто, вони прийшли його руйнувати. The true toll of the attack may never be known. With the theater and surrounding neighborhood controlled by Russian forces, crews have already started clearing the rubble, and with it, any evidence it contains. <laughs>